Sports Director Brad Johansson with the stories behind the scores. Good evening, everyone. As we told you at the top of the hour, the Reds have traded their closer and one of the best arms in Scott Williamson to the Red Sox for a mediocre single-A pitcher, a minor leaguer to be named later, and a little bit of cash. Willie converted on 21 of 26 save opportunities this year, but he becomes a free agent at year's end. He was one of four names that Jim Bowden was given to get rid of before the GM's firing. Scott just became a father a week ago. Now he is in a pennant race. Not really shocked, just, you know, a little disappointed in the sense that I'm leaving these guys behind, you know, Tom Hume and John Reeland and Jimmy Haynes and Barry Larkin and basically the whole team. You know, I can go down the list and guys I've learned so much from while I've been in the big leagues. And I think that's the toughest part about this, being traded. Trade happened during Dave Miley's first game as manager. Haynes gives up a hit. The pitcher, Darren Oliver, in the second. Chris Steins will score. It is one zip. Then the bad news Bears took over Haynes with a base hit to right, or so it seems. Rene Reyes embarrasses Haynes by throwing him out at first. Then in the fourth, Reyes with a bunt. Jason LaRue falling down. What doing? His throw flies by Sean Casey into right. And here comes Jay Payton scoring all the way from first. It was three zip Rockies. And the Reds get one back in the fourth. Casey going the other way through the hole. It'll score D'Angelo Jimenez. That makes it three to one. Then you got to see this. Ron Belliard with a single to right. Jose Guillen will bobble the ball, drop it, fall asleep for just a little bit. Then he catches Belliard in no man's land. And instead of running at him, he guns to second. Ray Almeida then hurries the throw to first. That gets away. One of three Almeido errors on the night. Belliard to third, and eventually he would score. It was 5-1. Reds get two in the seventh. Larkin pinch hitting, taking it just over Reyes' glove and right. Dunn will score to make it 5-3. Next batter, Jimenez strikes out. Miley's first lineup card delivery didn't work out too well. 5-3 the final. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it, you know, there happen to be two of the umpires that, that I've known for a long time, and, uh, you know, they seem pretty enthused and uh, happy to see me. So, but it was awesome. Uh, and, and tomorrow I'll probably send uh, Mark Berry out with it. Hey, everyone. Aaron Boone is still a red, but probably not for long. 12 Sports has learned a three way fight for Boone is underway as we speak. A deal that was supposed to be done over an hour ago has hit some snags. The Yankees, the Mariners, and the Dodgers all offering pitching for the talented third baseman. And those close to negotiations say that Boone will in all likelihood be gone by trading deadline tomorrow afternoon. Danny Graves, Scott Sullivan, Gabe White, maybe more could be on the blocks as well. Jose Guillen, already gone. 27-year-old outfielder going to be too expensive to resign, so he's gone to the A's. Hitting 337, 23 homers, 63 RBI. He's third in the NL and average fourth in slugging. And in return, the Reds get three right-handed pitchers. 25-year-old Aaron Harang, he's a six foot seven. One and three in six major league starts so far this year. 23-year-old Joe Valentine, 40 relief appearances this year. He's 6'2 and 6'4. Jeff Brugish, he is 23 years old, but he spent his entire year in single A so far. All we see is uh, Jose getting our three-hitter, um, you know, get traded today. We don't know down here. They don't. They don't share that with us. You know, we're just down here trying to play ball and playing with the people we have down here. If it happens, it happens. You know, um, it'll be very disturbing to a lot of us. But that's that's part of the game, I guess. I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't not stressful around here for a couple of days, and it's not hard. All the changes we've had, and just the world went past few days of guys just you know going places, and you know it's it's not easy. Oh, yeah, they played the Rockies tonight. Danny Graves makes his first mistake in the fifth. Big-time shot for Charles Johnson into the upper deck. Rockies led one zip. The Reds get it back in bottom of five. D'Angelo Jimenez with a laser beam down the right field line. To the wall, LaRue will score from second tied at one. It was 2-1 in the bottom of nine with Jason LaRue. First pitch, goodbye. Second upper deck homer for the Reds and Great American in the tenth. Two on, Aaron Boone. Jose Jimenez can't field the bleeder. Bases juiced for Adam Dunn. And Dunner would deliver. A shot that eats up Todd Helton for the game winner in 10. Dave Miley's first major league win, 3-2. You know, I don't know what it says, but it's a, it's a great feeling. I mean, it, and uh, I think to a man out there, I not only got a handshake, but a, but a nice hug, and it felt good, so. Well, that's because the Reds have been holding a fire sale this week, shipping four prominent players, including an all-star, to other teams. 12 Sports anchor Harvey Smilovitz joins us now with details. And, of course, it all started after Jim Bowden and Bob Boone were fired on Monday. Players and fans are now questioning how serious the Reds are about winning baseball games. We were led to believe the Reds had been building for years for the opening of Great American Ballpark. But now it seems this is all getting torn apart. Today, Aaron Boone goes the route of his father, Bob, leaving the team. Aaron heads to the Yankees, 
for left-handed starter Brandon Clawson, minor league pitcher Charlie Manning, and a reported $3 million. Now, in a separate deal, the Reds send lefty reliever Gabe White to the Yankees for a player to be named later. You'll recall Jose Guillen was shipped to Oakland yesterday, and Scott Williamson departed for Boston on Tuesday. But tonight, the players say they'll miss Aaron Boone. He's a good friend of just about everybody in this clubhouse. Uh, we all grew up in, in this organization together. He's, um, in my eyes, a guy that everybody should look up to, especially kids, watching him play the game. He plays the game right. He plays it hard every single day, runs out every single ball, um, can play multiple positions, and, and he's just a gamer. He comes out to play every day. And if there's any good news to all this, it appears the trades had little effect on the team's performance because once again tonight, the Reds beat the Rockies in their final at bat. We will tell you all about that a little later in sports. Well, that says something for their determination in the face they still of all these difficulties. Yeah. Thanks, Art. Mm -hmm. But we do know the Reds will save more than, that was just a joke. Reds will save more than $9 million thanks to four deals before the trade deadline. Two today, all-star Aaron Boone and reliever Gabe White heading to the Yankees. In return, the Reds acquire lefty starter Brandon Clawson, minor league pitcher Charlie Manning, and a reported $3 million. A very emotional Boone bid farewell to the only team he's played for in his seven-year career. The 30-year-old played second, third, and short this season, hit 273, 18 homers, 65 ribbies, and 15 stolen bases. It's not being called a salary dump, but that doesn't make the reality any easier for Boone to take. I mean, I tell him we're, we're going in a, a direction to try and be fiscally responsible and work within the guidelines that we must in this market and that we are trying to win. We're trying to win tonight's game, we're trying to win tomorrow's game, and we're trying to win every game the rest of this year and into the future. I mean, it's unbelievably exciting and the thoughts of where I'm about to go and what I'm about to get into. and But, you know, leaving you guys and... and all the people here that have become like family and most of all my teammates, I mean, that's, that's the lousy part of this job. Aaron, you'll love New York. In a separate deal, the Reds send left-handed reliever White to the Yankees for a player to be named. The 31-year-old went 3-1 and one with a sub-4 ERA this season, but has been on the DL for a month with a strained left groin. Former teammates took the news hard. No one ever replaced Aaron Boone. He's my favorite teammate of all time. One of my great, one of my best friends, and uh, you know you don't find people like that often. So, you know, for us it was a, it was a sad day, you know, that Aaron was gone. The only thing that we can see is, you know, one day our our leading hitter gets traded, then the next the next day our inspirational leader gets traded. So, you know, it's it's unfortunate. You know, the thing about it is, you know, we are where we are. We've got some young guys that are going to get opportunities now, and hopefully we we do the best that we can with them. Final results now of our 12 in touch poll. We ask which team will make the playoffs first, the Reds or the Bengals? Just 43% say the Reds, 57% the Bengals. Thanks if you phoned us today. Well, the Reds may have shaken up their roster, but it's still the same old team. Bad base running and walking off with another victory in their final at bat. Let's go to Great American. Final of the three games set against the Rockies. Reds down two zip in the second. Boone's replacement, Russ Brannion. Three run shot to right field. Reds up three to two. It's 4-2 in the third when Preston Wilson drills this two-run homer off Jose Acevedo. We're tied for all. Reds threaten in the third. Joe Nuxall has your call on WLW. LaRue on his way to third, and he'll be held there and pay there. Brandon not paying attention, and now they got LaRue trapped. And now with the ball, Bellhorn back to Stella and Russell Brandon. Now they get a double play as Brandon is off the bag at second base. Boy, oh 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 boy. <laughs> Couldn't say it better, Joe. Tied for all the 10th. Jason LaRue sends him home winners. Walk off homer, career high 13, 5 4. Your final. Going up there looking for a ball out of the plate, just trying to put the ball in play. Um, ended up getting two strikes, so I. Really was just trying to put the bat on the ball, and uh, he threw me a changeup that was out over the plate, and I, I made solid contact, and it ended up going over the fence. Stick around. We'll be right back.